I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Mary Shelley, the writer of Frankenstein. I'm going to take three fingers from the top in the middle and I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line down, keep going, curve line up, and connect. I come inside and I draw one curve line on the left one curve line on the right. I come back to the left, curve line up, back, connect on the left, curve line back, up, connect on the right. Inside I put one, two little curve lines on the left, one, two little curve lines on the right. In the center, straight diagonal, little curve line, little curve line, leave it floating. Come over here on the left, put a dot. We're going to draw a curve line up, down, up, and out. Come back to the left, skinny curve line up, over, and connect. I come over here on the left and I draw a straight line down, curve line down, curve line up, straight line up, connect. I come right back here in the center and I put a little straight line and from that straight line I draw a curve line down, connect on the left, come back to the center, curve line down, connect on the right. Right here I go curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, bring it up, curve line, curve line, connect. Jump over to the right, Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line up and connect. Now come back to the center and let's draw another big curve line down. Connect on the left, big curve line down, connect on the right. Now we can add more curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect on the right maybe one more curve line, curve line on the inside, on the left, curve line, curve line on the inside, on the right. Okay, starting right about here, we're just going to draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, come down, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, come down, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Come over here on the left, we're just going to draw a curve line down off the page. Come on the right, curve line down off the page. Now we're going to go one, two, three, four, five curve lines on the left. One, two, three, four, five curve lines on the right. Baby circle, baby circle. Now come up to this point, one, two, three, connect on the left. One, two, three, connect on the right. All of these curved lines are lace. That's what they would wear back in the 1800s. And all of these curved lines are curls. That's the way they wore their hair back then. Okay, who was Mary Shelley? We're going to put one baby circle, two baby circles, and then a big circle because inside we're going to put a dot and we're going to draw a straight line, curve line, curve line, connect on the left, straight line, curve line, curve line on the right. Come back to the left, zigzag, 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 connect. Inside, one, two straight lines, curve line, connect, curve line, connect. Little dot, little dot inside. Curve line, curve line, connect, straight line. One, two, three, four, five little straight lines. If you have room, put one, two, three curve lines on the left, one, two, three curve lines on the right. This is Frankenstein. 
she thought up the story of Frankenstein. And what did she do? Curve line up, down, over, up, connect. She wrote it down. Wavy, 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 wavy. And how did she write it? She did triangle, straight line, straight line, curve line, connect. Curve line over on the left, little curve line. Curve line over on the right, connect. She used ink pen and ink in order to write the story of Frankenstein. And it included one, two, three, zigzag, connect. One, two, three, zigzag, connect. One, two, three, zigzag, connect. It included elements of electricity, which was a new science that had just been figured out in the early 1800s. I'm going to put a little wavy line up here for my ink. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fill in my background with little black dots because there's a lot of detail information on this drawing and I don't want to color it all solid and I don't want to add my usual stripes but I do want to add a background a delicate background of dots okay now let's see how we're going to color this in Okay, I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to color in my lightning bolts. And the story of Frankenstein, most of you might know, but if you don't, it's the story of taking body parts from dead bodies and putting them all together, zapping them with some electricity, and coming up with reanimating a monster. She thought this up. Okay, then I'm going to come over here and usually they... This is, we're talking 1818. They would write their stories on parchment, so we're going to make that yellow. We've got our lightning bolts yellow. We're going to do the triangle up here, yellow. And that, I think, is about it. Next, I take my yellow-green and I color in Frankenstein. Now, this was also the first example of science fiction. You gotta remember, there wasn't very many things to be entertained. So people in the 1800s wrote stories, told stories. It was highly unusual for a woman to do it. And especially for her to be so successful. So we're gonna color in Frankenstein with some yellow-green and this concept of the dot, dot, big dot, this shows that this is what she thought up. Now I come over and I color in my black ink because everything was handwritten. I'm going to color in my pen, which was also a very important instrument. People, that's how they did it. They wrote. And I'm going to lightly color black her hair. Now, I don't want to color it too dark because I don't want to lose all these curls. And she did have curls. That was the style of the day. So we'll give her some black hair. Light black. Is there such a thing? And some curls. Okay. And then, if you have multicultural... Oops. Sorry. I'm going to color in her eyes black. They could have been brown. They could have been blue. I'm not sure, so I'm doing them black. Um, we'll give her pink lips. They didn't have makeup. But, in order to see body parts, if you have multicultural crayons, I think this is peach. I'm going to multicultural her face so you can kind of see it. If you don't have multicultural crayons, I'd leave it white. Because she was English. She was a white woman. So I would leave it white. 
you'll do a better job than me as always and everything I'm doing is just a suggestion on color next we're gonna do blue so this could be a heavy blue satin she she in the early 1800s they wore very heavy clothes especially in England that's where she's from and I'm going to leave the rest of it white because I'm going to pretend she's got white lace, all these ruffles, and these little baby circles. I'm going to leave those white too because they were probably pearls, white pearls. Okay? Let's see if that's it. I think that's all. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Mary Shelley all colored in. She wrote... Frankenstein and uh, it was an early example of science fiction in 1818. Okay, bye-bye.